the Range Rover Vela is not the largest, the most powerful or even the most expensive choice in this prestige stable. However, it is without doubt the new darling of the Range Rover family and the newest addition to our long-term test fleet. Larger than the Evoque and smaller than the Range Rover Sport, the Velar's sleek proportions turn heads like few other SUVs. With three diesel engines, six petrol, four equipment levels and three design packages, the Velar has all the bases covered for the cashed up crossover buyer. We're in the diesel powered R Dynamic HSE and it's loaded. In fact, the cost of its options alone would buy you a city ready hatch. But do I look like I'm complaining? There's a bit of weight at hand, but the torquey engine propels the Vela effortlessly. I've got to admit, I'm pretty smitten with the Vela. It feels thoroughly luxurious. I love the clean, modern lines, and this dual touchscreen arrangement is really, really cool. But I've also got a family to consider. The Vela's second row delivers, at least for my young family. It's easy to get in and out. We didn't really need to lower the ride height. There's enough room for three as well as dual climate control and 12 volt and USB charge points. The power reclining seats were great for the kids to snooze more comfortably on a long road trip, but it doesn't have a dedicated rear entertainment screen. That'll set you back another five and a half thousand dollars or so. Boot space is good, better still it features 40, 20, 40 split fold seats, four bag hooks, four anchor points and the retractable cover fits in the boot. Not all do. You can both lower the ride height and second row seats from the boot as well. As far as kids are concerned, the Vela actually feels pretty robust and fit for purpose. Beautiful cream leather seats aside, my kids would destroy that. The Range Rover Vela is a beautiful, costly creature, fit for family life, particularly my city-based one. I will be most sad to see this one go.